Hi, my name is Lee Williamson. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hi, my name is Joby McEnough. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Reggae Boys Commentary. Like, share and subscribe, please. I'm Javon Watson and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Skin clean and nice and ting and ting. I'm Tiffany Kim. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Cannon, Reggae Girl Striker, and you are watching the Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, Reggae Boys Commentary, like and subscribe, yeah? Oh. Reggae Boys Commentary, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Reggae Boys Commentary, <laughs> subscribe, like, and share. Is that the right order? Yeah. This video is brought to you by Maypen Educational Center, catering to evening CSEC classes and chess classes. Call 876-337-7374 or 876-775-6692. We got you covered preparing for exams. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Hello everyone. My name is Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. It's Thursday. But not only is it Thursday, it is also the start of a new month. September, a month with 30 days. And for many, the start of a new adventure for them. Some students going back to school. For some, it's about getting back in the workplace after a vacation break. For some, it's a change in weather pattern for them, depending on which part of the world they are. And in the footballing world, means the end of the transfer window until January. So that tells you everything that you need right there. That tells you everything. And where Jamaican players, potential players were involved, there was some discussion for a few, and we will touch on that. We will get into the gist of things, and we will touch on that. And a very special good evening to everybody that has tuned in. And we're delighted that you could have joined us for it. So let's get right into the matter, shall we? Javan Anderson. Now, we know Javan Anderson already. Javan Anderson, a 27-year-old midfielder who can operate as a right back. Javan Anderson, as we know, was Jamaican and Surinamese descent. Father side, Jamaican, mother side, Surinamese. He was born in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam. Played for them, the Netherlands, that is, at under 17 and also at U18 level. Started his career at Ajax, you know, the, in his professional sense. Went to Azad Alkmaar, went to Bari, went to Lazio. And right now, he's on loan. Well, it's a one-year deal at Oxford United that he has signed, and he has the option to extend it a further year. So Javan Anderson is finally realizing his dream about playing in England. Yes, Oxford United are a League One club, but he gets to accomplish his dream, which was to play football professionally in England. He's played in Italy, he's played in the Netherlands, and now he gets the opportunity of playing football in England. Another chapter for him, 
a new experience for him. Now you might say, Simon, why are we talking about him? Because earlier this year in March, Javin Anderson was called up by Suriname for a friendly match against Thailand. But the reality is that Javan Anderson doesn't have a cap for Suriname, which still makes him eligible for Jamaica. The moment he becomes ineligible for Jamaica is the day that he plays for Suriname in a competitive fixture. So until the day that he is ineligible to represent Jamaica, that is what we have to put into process, and that is what we have to, to, to analyze. So he's at Oxford United. It's a one-year deal under the tutelage of Carl Robinson, League One team looking to get promoted to the championship, and he has the op- option to extend it a further deal until the summer of 2024. Now, he's at a c- club with, with some good players. Cameron Brannigan, the former Liverpool midfielder, born in Manchester, but played for Liverpool, now at Oxford. He's the vice captain of the club, so he is, he'll benefit from there. Elliot Moore, the captain of the club. So good quality players he will be around. Yannick Wilshot at Suriname. The Suriname is international at the club as well. At Tyler Goodram is also there. Sam Long in, in defence. Lewis Bates from Leeds United. Um, Simon Eastwood as well. Um, James Henry, Matty Taylor, Sam Badlock, Jody Jones. So there are quality players around him as Oxford looks for promotion towards the the top flight. Now, Leon Bailey, what is the deal? Did Did Ajax have interest in Leon Bailey? Yes. Did Ajax submit a bid to Aston Villa? No. And that begs the question, why? Or why not? For such a talented player. Leon clearly deserves to be playing week in, week out. Not five or seven minutes a weekend. And going to a club such as Ajax, the playing time would have been there. I'm not saying he would have walked into the 11, but he would have gotten ample playing time. Let's see what happens in January. But for now, Leon Bailey is an Aston Villa player. Tyreek McGee is a Cassiopeian player. Junior Flemings is a Toulouse player. No bid was submitted by... Salford City FC towards Inter Miami for Damien Lowe. It's no secret to to anybody that Damien Lowe has ambitions of playing football professionally in England. So those ambitions are, are there. Let me take some of you guys' comments and then we get into other players. MPEG TV says, greetings, greetings, how are you doing, sir? Thank you for tuning in and, and great to hear from you and hope you're doing well, my friend. Ricardo Wilby says, blessings, Echo Reeks, blessings, hope you're doing well. Echo Reeks, what's the update with Bailey? Um, I'll repeat that. Freedom FC says, UTV. Now, just a bless up, Simon, congrats on Sports City. Jay King says, yo, piggy. Piggy? Who's Piggy? Bless up, Simon. Team Cataract Chicken. Be careful what you say about Oxford. Oxford United. Yeah, Oxford United. Yeah, Liverpool. I know about them, yeah. Lucas Ocampos, that's why. He was first choice, that is true. Nate, what's up there with Bailey? He gets good playing time at Villa, in my opinion, but Gerard needs to leave. I think more playing time. The players was available, simple as that. Better players were available. Better players. That's what one bro guard had to say about that. So, Nitro says, 
I disagree with you, Simon. Leon is being treated the same way Mourinho is treating Dybala. Injury prone, being managed carefully. I think it's different, though. You could see under Dean Smith that there was that care. There was that interest. Dean Smith smoke about waking up and staying up till one o'clock in the morning watching Gold Cup games of Leon Bailey. He spoke about his national team games for Jamaica, being up at wee hours of the morning just to watch this player play, and how glowingly he spoke about in press conferences. Of course, any manager is not going to go and degrade their player in the public's eye. But you have a professional approach, you have PR, and you have an individual that uses similes, metaphors, and adjectives in such a superlative light towards Leon Bailey. And Dean Smith did that. But to Gerard, I don't think that Leon Bailey is in that high ilk. That's what I believe. Now, Leon Bailey is at a football club that has a good history. One of the few clubs, one of the 20 odd clubs in the world that has won a European Cup, 1982. The fifth most successful club in all of English football. It goes Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Everton, Aston Villa. The fifth most successful club in English football. Fifth most successful club in English football with seven league titles. The last title, of course, coming in 1981. <laughs> that was the last time that um, I think that was the first title that Duncan destroys one well, Cav Cavalier at the time. You know, you know what I'm saying? So Man City, sorry, Man United, 20 league titles, Liverpool 19, Arsenal 13, Everton 9 titles, Man City, they have eight league titles now. So Aston Villa are now the sixth most successful club in English football. Aston Villa have won seven trophies. Yeah. I'll bring it up and I'll, I'll show you. <clears throat> His performance will keep him on the field. We must stop thinking he must play every game. The tactics employed by coach will dictate his game time, not the other way around. Yes, the tactics that the coach dictates will, will, will make that massive difference. I agree with that. But you can clearly see that the way that Gerard wants to play is <clears throat> and may not get the best out of Leon Bailey. Ian Wright agrees with you, but that is just my take. Stevie G was praising him during preseason. Yeah, preseason and the season itself, different. He needs a better agent, says Marlon Foster. And one guy says, sad to say, but Man City will pass Everton. It's sad. Man City will get a 10 before Everton gets a 10. And Everton is one closer to 10 than Man City are. Gerard is treating him exactly like the player. He is just an average player, nothing special. He's just a good counter-attacking player. Wow. Really? Really? Just a counter-attacking player? I think Leon Bailey has the ability to be more than just a counter-attacking player. Can he play? Can he contribute to a team that is trying to press and break down an opposition with a low block? He has the ability to do that. <clears throat> so you see this guy's right here. There we go. This tells you, and you see right here, the most successful teams in English football. So Manchester United, the most successful team in English football with 20 titles. Liverpool, 19, second. Aston Villa, 13 league titles. They're third in this list. Everton, Nine league titles, the fourth most successful team in English football. Manchester City, they're fifth, and they have eight league 
titles. Aston Villa, seven league titles, sixth. The seventh most successful club in English football, Sunderland and Chelsea. They both have six titles each. Newcastle United, four titles alongside Sheffield Wednesday. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Leeds United, Huddersfield Town and Blackburn Rovers, three titles each. Preston North End, Tottenham, Derby County, Burnley, Portsmouth. They've won two titles. And remember, the Portsmouth team included Lindy de la Pena for these two title wins. All right? Good. And Preston North End, the first English club to go to win back-to-back -back titles and the first club to go unbeaten an entire season. That's why their nickname is the Invincibles. Sheffield United, one. West Brom, one. Ipswich Town, one. Nottingham Forest, one. And Leicester City, one. So all of these teams have won the English Premier League, the league. And if you look at the breakdown of it, three of those titles have been to the Northwest teams United, Liverpool, Everton, City, Blackburn, Preston, Burnley. In London, 21 titles have been won by London clubs, 13 by Arsenal, 6 by Chelsea, 2 by the Spurs. In Yorkshire, 11 of them, Sheffield Wednesday, Huddersfield, Leeds, and Sheffield United. In West Midlands, you had Aston Villa, Wolves, and West Brom. In the northeast of England, Sunderland, Newcastle United, that's 10. East Midlands, you have Derby, Leicester City, and Nottingham Forest. In the southeast of England, Portsmouth, they've won two. In the east of the country, Ipswich, no team in the southwest of England has won a title. So we've never seen Plymouth Argyle win the title and Exeter City. So, yeah. And of course, nine Wales, not, not Swansea, not Cardiff, not Newport, not Wrexham. So, yeah. By City. Liverpool has won at 28. Manchester 28, London 21, Birmingham 7. Would you look at that? And that basically tells you everything you need to know right there. Jason Guna says, they have one out and out winger in their squad. Does the coach play wingers to suit Bailey and play Coutinho when Dia Watkins out position for them on the other wing? Mm. 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 I think more can be done. Does, does the coach play wingers to suit Bailey? I don't think he plays to suit Bailey. When when Rangers was at when Gerard was at Rangers, did he did he use Roof to his full potential? What he did with Kemar Roof that was extremely helpful, and Kemar Roof spoke about it as well, was that in after every single training session, Gerard worked on the finishing with Roof. So even though I don't think tactically Gerard is a is an absolute Mourinho. Or, or Ancelotti or anybody like that. But what Gerard did was work on his finishing week in, week out. And he couldn't leave the training session until he scored 31 and ones. And that's something that was worked on. DS Electronics Unlimited says, big up the crew. What's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Jedi says, Maguire the GOAT. <clears throat> Harry Maguire. Oh, guys, did you did you know that that's not his real name? You know, Harry Maguire is not his real name. His real name is Jacob Maguire. That's his real name. You know, that's his real name, Jacob Maguire. That's his name. Serious thing. That's his name. Just like Alvas Paul, no name Alvas Paul, him name Elvis. You know what I'm saying? So, Stevie G's style of play is different from Dean Smith. Stevie G needs to adjust his system to suit the players he has. 
I would agree with you there. Brian LFT says, Simon Preston, Wog one, big brother. But you know, Liverpool is more successful club in England right now. Right up, right up, right up. 20 for me, 19 for you. Right? You all got FA Cups? You all got FA Cups, my G? All right, it's my done talk. So what man for Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> and here is knows the only team this far where I've seen was set up to be his successful open flow and attacking play. He should have stayed there. The EPL not going anywhere. He's young. I think it was a good time to leave Germany, though. I think it was a good time because I think he established himself, played good football, went latter stages of the Europa League with Bayer Leverkusen, had some good trips, some really, really good trips <clears throat> across Europe. Nitro, the system he has been playing suits all the better players besides Bailey. Wendy and Coutinho are better and a little narrow, but Bailey didn't eat better out wide. Yeah, yeah. Number one guy says history class. History class on a Thursday. As you can see, this is England right here, and they and the clubs, right? So what you see is that Leon Bailey plays in this sort of area in the West Midlands of the country, and over this side is called the East Midlands of the country. That's right. So the West Midlands over here, and the East Midlands over here. All right. So this is the middle, and it's called the Midlands. West Midlands, East Midlands. All right. You get it? So... Good. So these are the Midlands, and I'm going to drive up and work this way. Yeah, drive this way. That's right. Yeah, there you go. Gerard plays a narrow formation. Yes, that is right. That is correct. Is that the best for Leon Bailey's development? The truth is no. Man of God, up Simon. But it, does, it doesn't mean that he can't, that Leon Bailey can't learn, adapt, thrive. What I see with Bailey is when he cuts in from the left wing, he keeps shooting well over the bar. Well, that's something that can be worked on, you know. That's something that can be worked on. It's about that the working on the shooting because you're, you're inverted where you can cut in onto your right foot, whip in across, or take a shot. And I encourage him to take a shot because the right back that he would come up against might not expect it, and or sometimes that right back might not be the best on his left foot while defending. So I would encourage that. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> Jacob doesn't fit him. Harry is cut to fit. <laughs> but Jacob is his first name for real, you know, just like Joe Hart. Joe Hart's real name is not Joe Hart. Joe Hart's real name is Charles Hart. That's his name. His name is Charles Hart. Not Joe Hart. Charles Hart is his name. You know what I'm saying? So his name is Harry Maguire. His name is Jacob Maguire. A Jacob Maguire name, you know. A serious thing, you know. A Jacob Maguire, the man name. I tell you now. Harry is his middle name. Seriously. Charles Brahma says, big up, Simon. Big up. How are you doing? A winger system is good for only Bailey. Playing with two central attacking mids behind the striker suits all the other attacking mids they have. That is why it is hard for Bailey right now. Well said, Mr. Guna. Well said. You're right. <clears throat> and Beck says, well, go on. <clears throat> We're in trouble, trouble, trouble. Shaquille Turner says, dot. Which team that is currently playing Champions League is best for Bailey? You know, it's hard to go up against Ajax, you know. It's hard to go against Ajax. It's hard to go against Ajax. You could thrive at Ajax. 
think you could do a job at Napoli. I think you could do a job at Tottenham. Marseille. And Fika. But for me, I like Ajax. I like Ajax. Big up, Simon, says Tennessee Lewis. Big up. Hope you're doing well. So that's the situation with Leon Bailey. Shamar Nicholson. Shamar Nicholson is staying at Spartak Moscow. I was hoping Newcastle would hold down Liverpool but failed. Ajax fits his style. Absolutely. If Butler is going to complain if he doesn't play, then he shouldn't go to a Champions League team as there will be competition for places at all of them. There will be competition for places at all of them. But if you're in a team that you know you will thrive more in, then you would likely have a greater chance of getting more minutes. I know you're not a Villa fan, but if Gerard leaves, who do you think will come in? It's a good question. You know, Gabby Abonglahor is getting his badges, his coaching badges. I don't know if Aston Villa is going to go back in the market and get an experienced manager or they're going to go with a former player of the club. Because it, it, that's something that might be considered. Martin Petrov might be on the radar as well, the former Manchester City and Bolton player. So, one person to continue. And you have you know, Stilian Petrov was at Aston Villa for seven years. He coached at Aston Villa Academy 2013. 2015, he was the first team coach. He got his UEFA Pro license, has his master's degree in sports management. He may have a business right now, but he has a lot of passion for the club. I know he battled with leukemia. Leukemia, and he has been battled with relapses, but Stylian Petrov is someone that even academy players resonate to. It wouldn't surprise me if he comes into management at some point. Gerard's problem is he can see his midfield is very weak with Ramsey and McGinn. If he wants a strong mid, use Nakamba and Chambers in with McGinn at CDM. Buendia, Coutinho, Wings, Bailey, Striker. That's an option. Will he do it? Personally, I don't think so. But it is something that can certainly inspire and cause some sort of change in the team. I expect that if Aston Villa don't get the results that they require, that either come January, there's no more Gerard at the club. Other clubs are just going to have to say, listen, <clears throat> we're going to have to stick with him until the end of the season. And we'll see what happens from there on in. So, that's what's going to have to be processed. But how does the table look right now? Let's have a look. Where are Aston Villa right now? Well, that's where they are. Second from bottom. Second from bottom, Aston Villa. The mighty Aston Villa. One of English football's greatest gifts. Second from bottom. 
One of English football's most greatest gifts are also fourth from bottom. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five teams in the bottom seven of the table have won the English title. <laughs> It's a crime if Everton ever get relegated. It's a crime if Aston Villa ever get relegated. And it would be a crime if Newcastle United gets relegated for the third time in the Premier League era. Bless up, Simon. Liverpool will be great this season. Yeah, great in the championship. They might as well go for Brendan Rodgers because he will get sacked faster than you can say soon. You know, Brendan Rodgers is not a bad option, actually. I see Gerard being fired after another loss. You think so? Good win today. Ten hug ball. One hug, two hug, three hug, four hug, five hug, six hug, seven hug, eight hug, nine hug, ten hug, ten hug. Yeah, United had to grind out a victory today, didn't they? They really, really had to grind out a performance. When Ronaldo and Casemiro came on, I felt like a second goal was coming. There was an opportunity that Ronaldo had with that overhead kick. There was also a pass that if it had a little bit more weight on it, it would have gone on to Ericsson in the box. But it's a win, the third win. And I like how the manager is playing down the three, the three straight wins. And he says it's too early to say that United has turned a corner. Wait, did Bailey join Ajax? No. Big up, Ryan. I see you're lashing out against the JFS incompetence. United was average today. Leicester were just right out, but the press, the passing was as bad as my two-year-old kid. Actually, you know, the last 10 minutes of the first half and the last 15 minutes of the second half, United were good. They were good in terms of the way that they played and linked up, link up play. That was impressive. Bruno Fernandes, you can see him trying, trying things. A bit casual at times. But nonetheless, he did a really good job, in my opinion. Villa should stick to the original 442 formation, says the Advocate Review ENT. Okay. You are not last until January, says DS Electronics Entertainment. Oh my. What's the deal with JFF as in manager, as in head coach? Well. Hmm. Guys, you all know the drill. You all know the drill for that one. You have to get this video to 100 likes. And after you get this video to 100 likes, well, after you like this video, then you go, you click that link, and you press subscribe. So you, you press that, that, that link in the comments right now. Press that link that I've highlighted. Hit subscribe. Come back over here and like this video, and you'll know who will be the head coach for the game against Argentina. <laughs> I might as well go for Brendan Rodgers. Yeah, you're right. Are going to get sucked in the morning, says so the number one guy. Um, I think one more game week, not right now. The mighty gunners at the top, it's a lonely at the top. Yeah, early days 33 games. It's not a crime, it's what happens when you're not good enough. Number one guy, if you know the history of these football clubs and what they've been able to do and provide for English football, you'd understand. Of course, there's a reason why they are right now. Poor, poor management. Poor ownership. That's the reason why they are where they are. Do you think Keita Taylor Hart can break into Arsenal's first team this season? They have injury issues and missed out on some signings. Honestly, I don't expect more than a handful of appearances this season. A lot. Simon Preston, give Gerard some time, please. Gerard will get it right. Yeah. He'll get it right when he's head coach of LA Galaxy. 
Well, Villa played City next, so he is gone by weekend based on Echo Reeks. And Jared will get another game. Don't worry, Arsenal will fix their business on Sunday. Yeah, man, Arsenal will lose their first game of the, the Premier League season on, on Sunday. Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. Peter Taylor Hart is all hype and no substance. Oh, come on, Travis. Come on, Travis. That is extremely harsh. That is extremely harsh, and I'm disappointed with you. A, a person and a, and a, and a football aficionado like yourself? Come on, much better than that. Well, Ronaldo needs to move on. That guy can barely run. Look, if he doesn't want to be there, I say let him go. But it looks like he's going to be at the club until January. So if he can help United to sell a few more shirts, get the club up a few more social media followers, and after that, raise the club a few more revenue until January, fine. And then he can go. What's up, bro? Long time no see. Long time no see. You know I'm loving Martinez, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> honestly, when I see him defend, kind of reminds me of you, to be honest with you. If you look how, the, how tenacious he is and the way that he reads the game and how he moves across the back line and covers for Varane, you know, you can definitely see what he brings to the table. So Martinez has looked good. You know, a lot of people give him a lot of criticism for the performances that he gave against Brentford when he was pulled off at half time, but <clears throat> it wasn't personal. It wasn't personal at all. But he's doing well, and I don't have a problem with that at all. The best thing Gerard did since MR. Timer Halgrimson, Stuart Baxter, Per Matthias Holmo, Eric Hamren. Persons who have been relegated more than once. <laughs> the best thing Gerard has done since March is almost ruin Man City. Prem win, which he slip again. We hear he walked on water, turn it into win. We believe in Jesus, the num Arsenal number nine. MPEG TV, big up yourself, brother. As you know, the four positions are stacked in the midfield. We need depth. Spurs going on fine. Conte is a G. He's a top manager. He's a top manager. <clears throat> Saliba is better than Martinez by a country mile. Hmm. I hear you. Travis Naezy says MPEG TV. <laughs> no one guy, Villa is going to pick up like six from City with that Haaland dude. It's over. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? One more game for Gerard, or we give him until the end of September, you know? Because Aston Villa are on this cup run, and let's see if Aston Villa can go far in the cup, you know? Kido will not even see a team sheet this season. Still a year or two from that, needs a loan next year to get first team minutes. I think he could get a loan in January. I think that would be beneficial for his career. If he could get a loan deal in January, that would make a massive difference moving forward. If he can get that loan deal, then I think he would come back with a chance next season to be part of Arsenal's first team setup. Like up the video, guys. Yes, sir. United are rubbish. Ha ha. Says people are asking if Arsenal is ready for Manu. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Mm. For this time, yeah. He stopped going in aerial duels since the Brentford game. Just runs behind the lines to clean up the mess. Good tactical switch by Ten Hag. Uh. <laughs> There's the butcher. <laughs> oh, Roberto Martinez. Maybe after the World Cup could be Aston Villa's coach. Give him until Jan and Villa is relegated. Mm -hmm. How 
Chelsea tenth? Have you ever just looked at the table and be like, huh? How are Chelsea tenth? Leeds seventh. Liverpool are playing number six. <laughs> the six is real. <laughs> Why? The watcher says, no, forget month and Gerard. I don't out here. Gerard, go get a, uh, at least one more game. Trust me. Is Haaland's status of the best strike in the world confirmed now? The best number nine in the world? Hmm. Still have Lewandowski for that, you know. Could Haaland have a title soon? Yes. But for me, it's Robert Lewandowski. Robert Lewandowski for me. The best number nine in the world. Robert Lewandowski. That's a guy. Robert Lewandowski. 565 goals. Club and international football combined. That's the 11th most goals ever scored by a man in football. Romario, 755 goals. Pele, 672. Lionel Messi, 773. And Cristiano Ronaldo, 815 right now. Don't believe me? I'll show you right now. There you go. There you go. Cristiano Ronaldo, the highest goal scorer in the world, 815 goals. Messi, 773. Pele, 762. Romaro, 755. Puskas, 729. Josef Bican, 720. Mm hmm. Eusebio, 619, Jared Muller, 634, Robert Lewandowski, 565, Zlatan, 560. Zlatan is still doing the goods at 40. Still. Luis Suarez, 520. Hmm. Yeah. You know who could be on this list very soon? Well, eventually. Harry Kane. But you guys know that Erling Haaland was born in England, right? Erling Haaland was born in England. Yes, he was born in England. So that means he could have played for England. There you go. There you go, guys. Good job. Good job. Erling Haaland was born where? England. Yes. Good job, guys. One more game for Gerard. All right. Share the stream, guys. Almost at 15k. Much appreciated. MPEC, really, really appreciated. Yes, guys, we're very, very close to 15,000 subscribers. Do share it around. Really, really appreciate it. Much, much love and support. Jesus, Jesus will win a penalty from Martinez on Sunday. You want to bet? I think it is going to be hard for Keto and is partly why Omar left. Martinelli, Saka, Smith Rowe, Fabio. Marquinhos, George Jr., all ahead of him in a picking order for wide forward role. I get the competition for places, but a lot can happen between now and next summer. So that's why I said if he could get a loan deal in January, get 15, 20 games in the championship or League One, then I would say to myself, okay, cool. He's going to come back to preseason with a puffed up chest, a bit more confidence oozing, and you never know. Really playing scrappy and his coach is an EPL quality. That was still the best nine in the world. Yes, sir. I say Karim Benzema until he drop off from um, Lewis second. No, man. Karim Benzema. Lewandowski is the best number nine in the world, my friend. Who is top of the league? Arsenal Football Club. Simon, it's the same way people discredit local born talents on here. So that is not harsh. Hmm. People count, Pella counted goals he scored in his backyard. <laughs> yeah, but the goals that he scored in the army doesn't count, though. So goals that he scored in the army would not have counted. He officially scored 762 goals. So there you have it. Let's 
be honest, Simon, if Holland keeps up, by the time he's 30, he'll pass a goal ski, but that's the future. Yeah, you're right, though. You guys thought about it, though, for the last 2008. So 2008 till now, we've been talking about Ronaldo and Messi. So that's, what, 14 years. Next year, going to be 15 years. And the conversation is going to shift now from Ronaldo versus Messi to Kylian Mbappe versus Erling Haaland. Well, I'll tell you right now, Mbappe is going to be the better football player, but Haaland is going to be the better goal scorer. I've said it. But Mbappe will be the better football player. Zlatan is a lion. <laughs> Literally. Lions don't heal like humans. He said, I should be a lion. <laughs> Play of a thousand goals. No. Pelé of no a thousand goals, man. Born in England, so he must be ruined that. Would have been on the plane to Qatar. Yeah, Erling Haaland was born in England. Was born. Was born in England, yeah. Born in England. Born and raised in England. Yeah. So that's where it is right now. So I've heard the conversation with Hal Grimson and what I'll say, we haven't gotten to 100 likes yet, so I can provide an update on Hal Grimson and say that he would be intrigued by, the, by the, the project, but we haven't gotten to 100 likes yet. I remember Hal Grimson was the one that basically ensured that there was a renaissance could say an emergence of football in Iceland. He built indoor pitches and everything. Any update on who will be the next Reggae Boys head coach? As I said, guys, a hundred get this video to a hundred likes, get the channel to fifteen thousand subscribers, and then you make sure that you press that link and hit the subscribe button. Sounds good. Good. Make sure. Ray Richards, aka Ever Fresh Sound. I believe that you had made a comment earlier, Roy Richards, Ever Fresh, but email Reggae Boys Commentary at gmail.com or go on Reggae Boys Commentary's Instagram page, send a private message since you reached out and wanted some contact information. So in order to reach out Roy Richards, a.k.a. Eva Fresh Sound, you can go on Reggae Boys Commentary's Instagram page and private message or email reggaeboyscommentary.com. Either one of them are fine. Money United needs to start winning games by more than one goal. That will come. That will come in time. That will come in time. Is Leon Bailey leaving Aston Villa? Not, not in the summer, but maybe January. We'll see. Roy Richards, a.k.a. Ever Fresh. Yeah, Roy, as I said, you can email reggaeboyscommentary.com or what you can do is send a private message to reggaeboyscommentary.com on Instagram, and that way you can talk. Okay, Roy Richards, a.k.a. Ever First Sound, so that is what you can do. Al Grimson is like 100 years old. No, man. I mean, I'm 50, the same way, you know? Al Grimson is the only coach that being in Iceland or welcome back. 
Yeah, and also remember Iceland went to the quarterfinals of Euros 2016. Yeah, man, do it. make sure you do it tonight, you know, G. Make sure you do it tonight. Make sure you do it tonight because, you know, the sooner the better, yeah? Make sure you do it tonight. And then contact information can be exchanged, all right? So this is what you can do. Travis says, Haaland is an overrated club baller. You know, he scores goals for country as well. So I don't want to say he's overrated. What I will say is that basically he still has a lot to prove. He's shown and he's proven goals, shown that he can score goals. He needs to show that he can do it on a more consistent level now in terms of these big, big teams. Yeah. But yeah, as in, I heard the conversations about Al Grimson, but this guy is not going to come for peanuts and I'll, I'll keep it there for now. Yeah, I know he's out of a job. Simon, do you think Butler's comments have a negative impact on Bailey's chance of playing or that is not connected at all? I don't think what he said is going to influence Steven Gerrard to play him less or more. No. No, I don't think those comments would have affected things. No, because agents talk all the time. Not only Butler, but Mina Ryle have spoken about Pogba in the past, but that doesn't affect players or the, the amount of playing time. Maybe the immediate game after the agent comes out and speak to the public, but I don't see this a situation where Bailey is going to be punished for what his agent has said. Roy Richards, aka Everfresh, says, Yeah, man, cool. Yeah, man, just reach out and ting. And is it big deal lens as he beat England? Brother, we are reminded of We are reminded of 2016 was. So not, you know. Karumi Huey says, big up my boss, big up coach, how are you doing? All is well. What do you think about Anthony? I'm going to be honest with you, Chadwick Nelson. The truth is, personally, I feel uneasy when Brazilian players come to the Premier League. A lot of complaints about the weather and the food and everything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Compared to Spain and Portugal where the weather is, is nicer. Yes, Brazilians have, have done their bits in the Netherlands and they've used it as a good league for development. I'm just tempering my expectations of Anthony. I'm not expecting 20 goals from him. I'm not expecting 15 goals from him. But I am expecting 10. But guys, did you realize how much Brazilian players have made moves in the Premier League? Honestly. Look at it. Honestly, guys, look at how much players were moved. Casemiro, Gabriel Jesus, Richarlison. Diego Carlos, Philip Coutinho, Andres Pereira, Lucas Paqueta, Wenan Lodi, Neto, Anthony, Marquinhos, William. And when, when Melo is confirmed for Liverpool, if he's already confirmed, that's 13 Brazilians making moves. And you just have to say at some point, hmm, <clears throat> does this make sense? You have to start thinking, what's going on here? You know, you have to start saying, what is happening? So that's something to consider. As I said, I'm tempering my expectations of him personally. Haaland has everything, in my opinion. If he can stop getting injured, he'll be one of the greatest strikers in history. All right. 
Something tells me that Mino Raiola and Butler don't garner the same respect, but I could be wrong on that. They get respect, yeah. Yeah, man, they get respect. Yeah, man, them get respect, man. Yeah, man, trust me, them get respect. Trust me. But I heard that... That he will take less money than what Paul Lord is asking for, and he's okay to stay in Jamaica. That part, I don't think so. Honestly, I don't think so. Yeah. Davian says, Anthony's a G. Butler is a hype chatterbox. LB31 need to get rid of him or else he'll be downfall of his career. Well, regardless of your guys' opinions is about Craig Butler, that's not going to happen. So we have to go to a new coach again. Who are we, Reggae Boys or Watford? Both. I joke, we're Reggae Boys. Anthony has never scored 10 goals in a season, I think. Um... I think no, he was in Brazil. Well, his first year at the Eredivisie, he scored nine league goals, but in all competitions, he scored 11. And last season, he scored eight in the league, but 12 in all competitions. So, yeah. I get what you're saying. I just hope he can adapt quickly. I love how our defense looking now. Mm -hmm. Anthony is going to be a top player at Manchester United. You have a high expectations on this guy. Wow. Nice. Anthony does more than dives, does more dives than score goals. The national coach for living in Jamaica. Simple as that. I agree. Martinelli goal. Oh, I'm going to score our own goal against Manchester United. Okay. Big up, man. I'm going to tell him respect. Yeah, that is why it is surprising they have not won the World Cup for 20 years. Yeah. Long may that continue, trust me. Carlos Viniscus, true. Yeah, five time champions. But guess what? Me never get seven of my yard. <laughs> Reggae boys never get seven of them yard. England never get seven of them yard. But Brazil, seven of them yard? Disgrace. Disgrace. Disgrace, 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 disgrace. Greetings in the name of the Most High. What's up, Burp? Or are you supposed, or is your name? <clears throat> Which one of them? <laughs> I'm just being facetious, guys. Don't worry. Is it Burp or is it? <laughs> I'm just trying to get the proper, I'm just trying to get the proper, you know, pronunciation of the man name. That's all. Yeah, is my team willing to lose or draw a flop for the last 20 years? Uh, good for them. Yeah. If Holland was so good, Norway would be in Qatar. I think they went to the playoffs, you know, Norway. I think they went to the playoffs, but he's one man. Ryan Giggs is one man. Ryan Giggs never got World Cup. You know what I'm saying? Mkhitaryan and Armenia never got World Cup. That's one man. Pandev ever got to the World Cup? Big up RBC. What's up? What's up? What's up? Rush and Joe Mar. How are you guys doing? You guys, ensure to do check out this or that sports TV. They have uploaded some great content this week. And you can check it out as it relates to you know everything that they have done in in the their videos lately of football. And they also interviewed interviewed me. So if you want to know more about me, then <laughs> then you have that. What did I miss? Did you announce the coach? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The Brazil team is so gifted in every position. 
Italy use too much older ballers. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have a head-to-head -head league on FPL? RBC doesn't, but I am in a head-to-head -head league in, in FPL, yes. I think I'm in the top half a million in the world now. I finished 50,000 in the world last year, so I'm trying to get into... No, I finished in the top... I finished in the top 1,000. So I'm trying to see if I can go for the top honors, you know? So I'm working on that. Travis, you, stop, you get seven stop hype up. Exactly. Bless up the real OG, Sir Simon. Big up, God bless you. Big up. In a World Cup of that. Exactly, Kevin. In a World Cup. Disgrace. You think me can get seven of my yard? If Rega Boyle gets seven of them yard. Why? Brazil is going to win the World Cup. Yeah, man. They're going to win the, 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 the Olympic gold medal in Paris 2024. Yeah, man. I thought Brazil are going to win, yes. Where we would start in their qualifying group behind Netherlands and Turkey, not a bad result at all. Those are two good teams. I finished ahead of them. Yeah. Where we would qualify if they're in Congo. Yeah, and Jamaica would qualify if we were in Oceania. Yeah. Ifs and buts and maybes. Guess who will never win a World Cup of them? Yeah, two times, Travis. Exactly. Exactly. Brazil, Spain, the only two sides we never win World Cup at them yard. Spain in the 80s wasn't a contender. So you, you could really just rule that out. All Uruguay win World Cup at them yard. All Italy win World Cup at them yard. Yazids. All West Germany win World Cup at them yard. <laughs> England win World Cup at them yard. I wait to see the Riga boys in action and doing well. Agreed. I can't wait either. I got changed the name. I got no can ten them at Liberty. Yeah. Travis, my side of France, a two one my side win. That is standing for the group running. Excuse context matters. All right, my Travis, one well, five star hold them. Work of football until then. I'm not sure we beat the New Zealand. Eh? Eh? Brother, if we can't beat New Zealand, you know, better pack up this football thing, you know, and focus on other sporting disciplines, you know. Brother, if we can't beat New Zealand, you know, might as well pack up this football thing, you know. I'm serious as a judge. If we can't beat New Zealand, better pack up this football thing. Jamaica is ninth in the world in lacrosse, in the men's lacrosse team. Let's try to win that World Cup, put all the eggs in that basket. 21st in the world in rugby league. Put all the eggs in that basket. World Cup coming up in October. Rugby Sevens Jamaica and the Rugby Sevens World Cup next week, Friday. Put all the eggs in that basket. No, man, if we can't beat New Zealand, man, that, that, has, that would be sad. Sad, 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 sad. No, man, we can't, can't, can't do that, man. We can't do that. We can't do that. We say we can't do that. Travis, today I want to start playing back Yoga Bonito and I can win the next World Cup. Brother, wouldn't mind Brazil win another World Cup ever in my lifetime, you know? Ever. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Armageddon can come, the Great Tribulation can come, Paradise come, and Brazil now win no more World Cup. We see Brazil win World Cup already in a 20th century and 21st century. We see Brazil win World Cup in two centuries. So why we want to see Brazil win more trophies? We see Brazil win everything. We see Brazil win everything on this planet. So why do want to make Brazil win more trophy? We see Brazil win so much different trophy. We see Brazil win trophy when we come out of our mother womb. And we see trophy Brazil win up to the day me a teenager. And in my 20s, Copa America. So we see Brazil win so much. Give our next country a chance for win trophy. No man, my word, man. Give England a chance to win them. World Cup, no man. Big side. You know how I go? Big side. When last Brazil win a World Cup, mid not even born. Eh? Last time Brazil win World Cup, you know, they are prep school. <laughs> Why? France, good team. I think they'll go to quarterfinals of the World Cup. Any idea how ticket sales going for the Argentina match? It's selling like hot bread. It's 85 US, but it's selling like hot bread. Well, that's the, the nosebleed seats. I want to World Cup Jamaica win. Don't worry yourself, man. Chris Wood won 
Home Care New Zealand. Thank you very much. Relax, I'm in Brazil have the most World Cup trophies. And how much England have? One. One World Cup trophy. Yeah. One more than, than Belgium. One more than the Netherlands. All right. We done talk. I barely why am I click on the video, you know? Yeah. Well, my friend Leon Bailey is remaining in Aston Villa, and Aston Villa did not, Ajax did not submit a bid towards Aston Villa for him to move. <coughs> if Adam Jeff, if man, you stay in not even New Zealand, we're going to beat you, go on, man. We're going to beat New Zealand, man. England is a hype country when it comes to international football, them are rubbish. Yo, brother. Fourth in the World Cup, third in the Nations League. Second in the Euros, and you know what that means. First in the World Cup. You can beat New Zealand, might as well. Can't beat New Zealand, might as well. Pick up. No, man, baseball. Brother, you know you're missing lacrosse. Brother, Jamaica is ninth in the world in lacrosse. Jamaica going to the lacrosse World Cup next year in San Diego. Let's try to win that. This is our best chance of winning a male team sports World Cup. Jamaica's best ever chance of winning a male sport team World Cup lies in lacrosse, rugby league, rugby union. The best chances Jamaica has at winning a World Cup. In football, our best chance of winning a World Cup would be an under-17 World Cup, and, and preferably we host that. Yo, Brazil now win a World Cup, Brent. Brazil now win a World Cup. Because Simon, they played the beautiful game as it should apart from that 7-1. Seven of my yard, disgrace, disgrace. English just tax out them players. We know, we know, we know, we know. Winners always have haters. <laughs> oh, so we can't beat New Zealand. We beat them the last time we played them. We did. That was 2012 on leap year day, February 29, 2012. Jamaica won by three goals to two. Goals were scored in that game from Xavier and Virgo. Tremaine Stewart and Navian Boyd. Belgium winning World Cup this year. Is Hazard still playing? Yeah, man, Hazard, I got play. Jamaica and Brazil win the same amount of World Cup in the last 10 years. Last 20 years. Yeah, man, I'm good, man. Jamaica need to make 2026 World Cup because I will be at every game. Yo, everybody just make sure they get them US and Canadian visa from now. If you have a Jamaican passport, I don't think that you need a, you don't need a visa to go to Mexico. So that basically solves that. <clears throat> Simon, I'll never say that my two favorite ball of them of all time is R10 and NJR11. So may I have a jeweler keeper respect for them ball of them. I'm just hold it up one thing. Which match with New Zealand? No, we don't have a match with New Zealand. No. Seriously, though, Simon, with all this money in the EPL, England's best ballers will play in a Championship League. No, I disagree. Not all of them. Simon, do you think that all our top players will show up for the Argentina game if we don't name a coach? Yeah, yeah. of course. People are going to still want to, regardless of who the coach is, people are still going to want to see. People are still going to want to take on Messi and take on Di Maria and take on Dybala and Martinez. So, yeah. Patrick Riley says, Simon, England been letting me down from 70s, bro. <clears throat> but you have to admit, from 2017, they haven't. On the 17 World Cup, on the 20 World Cup, fourth in the World Cup, third in the Nations League, second in the Euros, women's team won the European Championship. So, you know what that means. Another trophy coming. I'm not going to say this. You know what England players are famous for these days? Diving. Is that so? Because we just watched Zidane play to Nathan Welcome and just support France, and that was the first Welcome Watch member. Yeah, baby, and a choice. Good night, Simon. Good evening, Marvin. Hope you're doing well. How many teams can qualify from Conquer for 2026? Okay. So USA, Canada, Mexico, they're through. So CONCACAF will have three automatic spots and there'll be two intercontinental playoff berths. 
So the top three teams from CONCACAF will qualify for 2026 and join USA, Canada, Mexico. And the fourth and fifth place teams will head to the intercontinental playoffs. So potentially CONCACAF could have eight teams at the World Cup, minimum six, but at most eight teams at the World Cup. Has the JFF gotten a total in order? No. Not to be World Cup really, Simon? Absolutely. Jamaica can win an under-17 World Cup. I'm not saying 2023. I'm not saying 2025. But Jamaica can win an under-17 World Cup. Absolutely. Simon, I mean, do you think Leon Bailey have a chance of being signed with Chelsea while Sterling is there? No. Trevor, it's when your father and him free... Demo Brazil fandom poise near from here. <laughs> in twenty twenty six, since Canada, USA, and Mexico won't be able to participate, meaning Jamaica has a seventy five percent chance of qualifying. Why seventy five percent chance? Why do you rate it that highly? Remember, Curacao are coming, Trinidad are coming, Haiti are coming. So from the Caribbean, those will be the three biggest threats. And then you look at Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras. If you want, you can put El Salvador in that mix as well. Guatemala is going to be packed back and return to World Cup qualifying. So right there, that's five teams from Central America. Can Jamaica get the better of, of Guatemala? Yes. El Salvador? Yes. So... Jamaica is going to be fighting with Honduras, Panama, and Costa Rica. Simon, do you think any of the Switzerland-born defenders will ever get a call-up? Honestly? I don't think so. But if one of them were, I would say it would be Arigini. When we start watch football or when La Liga and Champions League show up on them TV and I talk about Ronaldinho and thing. <laughs> Costa Rica won't qualify because their team is aging quickly. They have young players coming through, trust me. Jamaica can't win anything to do with football. The end, you're in it, delusion shining again. Guys, be positive. Be positive. I genuinely feel, I genuinely feel that Jamaica will be at the World Cup in 2026, honestly. I do. I feel it's possible. I really, really do. And you all should as well. I hope you all do. There's a big chance, big, big chance. Trust me, guys. Better days are ahead. It's going to take time, but trust me. Better days are ahead. Better days are ahead. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel, guys. Much appreciated. We're this close to 15,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to reggae voice commentary for more content all right guys stay safe all right and more videos coming your way lots of content stay tuned this video is brought to you by maypen educational center catering to evening csec classes and chess classes Call 876-337-7374 or 876-775-6692. We got you covered preparing for exams. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts.
Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471.